the Internet was always a weapon. Um, it was designed to be a weapon from the very beginning. Um, and we're kind of seeing the, the kind of logical conclusion of, of that beginning uh, t today. And so, you know, so, you know, people are suddenly terrified of the Internet, uh, right? The way that we talk about the Internet has really changed, I think, uh, in, the, in the kind of the popular culture. I'm not talking about just the professional, professional engineers or computer scientists. Or, uh, but in the popular culture, people are talking about the Internet in a completely different way than uh, they talked about it just, just a few years ago. I mean, in, in, in essence, I think Donald Trump is to blame uh, for it all, because after Donald Trump was elected, suddenly um, this idea of the Internet as being a progressive um, force, a, a force of democracy and egalitarianism, for whatever its flaws and, and limitations, that fundamentally that this technology represents something um, good and democratic, that has begun to be turned upside down. And I mean, I don't know what kind of, um, unfortunately, I, I can't read uh, German, so I don't know what kind of discussions are, are taking place in the press here about the Internet and about, you know, the weaponization of the Internet. But in America, I mean, it's, it's almost absurd, the kind of stuff that you hear now. I mean, the Internet is, to, is being blamed for just about everything. And the Internet now is being looked at as, you know, as, a, as a, what was nor a democratic technology that had been hijacked by these malicious forces and that have turned this, demo this what was once a democratic technology into a weapon uh, that essentially has no limits to, to its power. Um, you know, and... <laughs> and with this minimal investment in, in, this, in this technology, with you know, just $50,000 on Facebook ads, you can essentially throw an election. That's how powerful it is, and that's how dangerous it is. And we get, you know, day after day, we have stories coming out in the press about you know, frightening stuff that, that you, know, you get the sense that the Internet really is a kind of a battery ram against democracy now. And there is a consensus that's uh, emerged uh, about the need to control and, and limit it and restrict it in some way, to, to merge it with kind of the national security apparatus and to make sure that the Internet is subservient to the um, national security needs of the state. Um, and, I mean, this is very interesting because just a few years ago, Internet freedom and, and openness was considered a virtue, was considered the, the foundational reason in, for why this, the Internet was so successful. And what um, explained its democratic potential. And so, you know, America would berate anybody who tried to enforce their own kind of national laws or cultural notions on, the inter on their own internet space within their own borders. And it would see that as a, as a kind of a totalitarian uh, tendency. And so, you know, there's been an almost like a 180 degree turn with the way that people look at, at the internet, the way that people see the internet. You know, and, and, and when, another thing about, about this, this change is that um, people uh, act as if it's something new, as, this, as if this weaponization, as if the use of the Internet by a foreign power or by a state to uh, influence people or to influence uh, politics or to influence culture, to meddle in some kind of way in, in the political process or just in, 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 in cultural process, is something new. That until Donald Trump was elected and, and installed as president, the Internet was uh, naive and neutral. Right? And, and these, form, these malicious forces came in and completely corrupted it and turned it into a weapon. Um, and of course, the Internet is a weapon, and it is, has been weaponized, but it's always been weaponized. Um, that's what it was designed to do. It was designed uh, by the Pentagon, by the American military, in the 1960s, um, to be a weapon, to be an information weapon, to be a, to be a management weapon. Um, a management weapon for, um, for, for the military, for a, a global military uh, presence, but also domestically as well. And so, and as I said earlier, you know, what we're seeing now is the sort of the logical conclusion of, of that initial um, push. At, uh, the internet is now per pervades, so pervades everything and uh, touches everything in our society, and so, its, its potential to be weaponized is much greater than, 
than it was, of course, in the 1960s when it was just a, a kind of a, a network that could transfer data and could uh, kind of an early cloud service, essentially, what it was back then.